What's up guys, T you got Kicks and I here back with another product review for you guys. Today we have got news from a brand that we have not uh, reviewed yet for this channel. I don't know how this person came up on this specific uh, model, but long story short, I got um, this pair from the uh, FB marketplace called Pasa Skateboard. Amir listed these up for sale for the low low. Um, he didn't disclose where he got them ex exactly, but um, and this size tag isn't really helpful either. But let's just talk about uh, the brand Circa. Uh, Circa was a brand that was established uh, amongst others by uh, Muska and also Jamie Thomas. Um, they had a whole um, team of writers, uh, most notably Adrian Lopez as well from M to Pro. Um, and it was a heavy technical skate shoe brand back in the day and to see them do this is very interesting um, the box comes in this uh, Louis Vuitton Erms style uh, box with the little handle which is probably gonna break soon because this box is hella tattered the, the size tag for reference right there in the back and you open it just like this and let's get to the reason why we are here and it's because of these Adrian Lopez's 805 shoe done in retro form not an exact one to one retro but it's good enough now let's take a closer look this is the shoe and I am very very glad to see Circa doing this, although not true to its original form or as close as to the sort of quality that Circa put out back in the day, this is a close runner up and I'll take it. <laughs> so uh, this shoe is obviously the retro version of the 805 and it uses um, the CX201R tooling. If you're familiar from if you're familiar with Circa's uh, retro line of its original shoes, um, the CX201 was eventually retroed. I don't know if the R in the back of CX201 means retro, but we assume that it meant retro or, or reflex or something like that, because that shoe, amongst others, featured the Circa reflex technology. But um, the, the Adrian Lopez 805 never had a runner toe cap. It had like a, a straight runner, uh, a straight, a straight toe, a straight uh, toe cap, with an uh, an airbag in the back, which is why it's a higher number of a shoe. Um, let's first talk about the packaging that Circa put out, and I'm really happy with this. First, it comes with spare laces. Not only that, it has the logo, the brand's logo, on the tips of the laces. Aside from that, they also gave. And this is very important for a person like me. They gave a sticker, which is also as, as much as you could print this in shops and whatsoever. These two were what made skateboarding shoe packages worth it back in the day. Um, so Circa or Circa Argentina, Brazil, Chile, whatsoever. But Circa brand, you're doing the right thing you're going down the right path with this action you're a close runner up s hopefully you're a close runner up as well um the only thing missing is obviously the tech spec sheet but let's not get into that so the based on the tag it says al805 black pewter because i assume that's what bkpr stands for it says that it has actual leather plus pu uh plus textile upper on the sole it has on the upper of the shoe and it has a rubber sole so um i would assume that this part in the front this triple stitched sorry it's double stitch actually no it's triple stitch this triple stitch toe cap in the front is the actual leather this um gray part of the toe and this gray part at the side is uh, synthetic leather and also this part in the back and this part in the tongue too but this like i said is a really really nice throwback and it's a nice um 
shocker for like the retro shoe market to see a brand like Circa come up from their comfort zone of doing uh, vulcanized shoes, which was what their main sellers were, and just ultimately drop something like this. The 201R, CX201R is coming back and it is using the tooling that we see here. And I guess they didn't want to throw it away, so they just slapped it on this and tried to make the upper as close as the original as possible and just call it a day. But uh, a few differences between this and the original version, um, if you Google, you'll see that the old, um, the original 805 had a higher toe cap and like a slightly thicker build and that shoe was, uh, it looked indestructible. I wish I had one to skate back in the day, but uh, Extreme never got the 805s on sale. Um, the 805 is obviously uh, Adrian Lopez's, I think it's his second shoe. Um, the, uh, the other one, the lower, uh, the, the cheaper price point one was the 202. This is obviously the higher spec version, the 805. Um, it features, like I said, a suede toe cap with leather, PU leather underlays. That's a nice little thing to have, like the whole, uh, the lace loop at the top with the Circa logo just right there. Going over to the mid panel of the shoe, you've got suede again um, and the nice little Circa logo. And this is true to its original form, whereby it just has the C1 RCA logo just right there. You've got some slight perforations on the midfoot panel with that PU leather. Going over to the back and the heel collar of the shoe, you've got the black part is suede and the black upper part of the shoe with that red circle logo is done up in PU leather. Over to this side, it's more or less the same. What I wanted to highlight it was at the top of the lace loop, you've got this um, plastic lace hole, which is true to the original form as well. You've got mesh, um, a mesh tongue, very, very nicely padded, very, very thick. Uh, that's fully mesh. And the only thing that it that sets it apart is just the leather lace loop just right there. And also Adrian Lopez's logo just right there on the tongue. Also true to its original form. On the inside, um, you've got a gray liner backing the tongue and also a gray liner for the inside of the the shoe on the insole you've got a fairly thin this is what kind of disappoints me but whatever you've got this thin uh, very very thin not even PU I would call this EVA it feels like compression molded EVA has like a slight bounce back to it kind of like a memory foam almost um, this insole done up in gray with the Adrian Lopez logo on the heel of the shoe on the inside You've got an or a pink strobel board, and when you kind of press down on it, you don't really feel like an EVA midsole. Personally, for me, uh, there could be one, but I won't know until I cut the whole damn shoe open. You've got black lace loops with the logo on the tips, just like how Action does it, and how Circa always used to do it back in the day. Same thing with the gray laces that came as I showed early on in the video. And moving on to the bottom of the shoe, which is the only non-retro or non-original part of the shoe. You've got um, the CX201R cup sole with the runner toe, which I think adds like a really nice throwback look because like um, DC's also doing the whole um, runner toe thing with the links and the calices. Um, the lines are almost similar. See that at the front? Almost just like the links. Um, this part in the middle is also rubber. It's not a PU part. So this kind of a shoe will hold up well, well, well over time. It will not crack and uh, basically just increases the wearability and longevity of the shoe. So you can enjoy this longer. Um, you've got the Circa logo in the back. C1 RCA just right there. And to the bottom of the sole, this is not how they used to do it. If you remember back in the day, Circa soles used to have those nubs. Um, where those lines are, those triangular parts, used to be nubs, but now they just made like a single flat sole with uh, the nubs inside of the shoe with some flex grooves to increase flexibility of the shoe. You've got the Circa logo in pewter gray right there in the middle and also the Circa 
brand logo at the heel just right there this um this outsole i don't know how it will perform uh from the looks of it it looks to be like a medium wearing sole i remember the circa apple yards that i used to wear the 202s or the 205s or something like that the the lowest range of the mark apple yard shoes they wore out really really fast but they gripped hella nice and i hope this is this uh this will perform the same despite um the shallow uh shallow flex grooves and shallow um grip pattern i hope this will do its job and hopefully i can wear this for a little bit longer but that is essentially the shoe this is the adrian lopez al 805 retro from the brand circa really nice to see this come back i hope they drop um future retros of their of their shoes because circa was a brand that that is notable back from from like the early 90s of skateboarding because of it being such a tech shoe because like s etnies uh, america audio and circa amongst others um vita savior all used to be like all skate shoes when when it when a skate shoe dropped back in the 90s or the early 2000s they never looked the same not one shoe will have a vulcanized sole with a stripe and like a long toe it used to all be different because that was the time where where we where skateboarding took a lot of inspiration from from technical footwear like nike and adidas and that was when you would really see the creativity and the design language of, of older skateboarders who didn't really have a background in shoe designing in the first place, but tried to design something that was functional, durable, and would last. And basically, they also had to make sure that their shoes sold. So all the bells and whistles aside, it's an, it's a golden era of skateboarding that we I don't think we'll ever get back 100% but it's coming back in some way or form we're just not really supportive of it I mean the whole skateboarding community at large is not really supportive of it but I mean everything has like a niche market a special place in people's hearts and old skateboarding shoes just like this will always have a special place in my heart so just another 360 view again of the shoe i don't know how you can get your hands on this i don't know where i can get it brand new this is uh, not really my size it's 10 uh, but it's a size 43 euro which is what i am in a nike footwear uh, size 43 uh, sorry i'm a 42.5 sorry i'm a 43 uh, us 9 is a 42.5 but um i tried this on and it fits fairly wide and just fairly not too snug not too loose just nice in the middle uh, one thing that i wanted to highlight for this shoe before i end the video is that um circa is calling this the the sure fit system so i assume that it's like the whole thicker padded um collar lining and also the thickly padded tongue which will make sure that the shoe does not fly off of your foot when you're skateboarding so this is the circa al 805 the adrian lopez 805 shoe and i am your boy tj got kicks 89 i will see you guys at the next one from sunny sunny malaysia god damn it's hot in this country catch you guys bye